Welcome to Gigs and Guitars and today we're talking about the lockdown video and is it difficult to do? So have a look, watch now, enjoy and by the way, there's always time of the day for a cup of tea, a nice brew. Cracking. Today's uh, episode is all about the lockdown recordings we've done with the Cooper Collective, which the first time, if you remember, you might have seen on the YouTube channel, which is Florence and Machine, You've Got the Love. And we decided to do a second one uh, straight away uh, to keep that, the, uh, the iron hot, uh, to be honest. And we decided to do Who's Crying Now by Journey, which you've probably already seen already. But this is basically how we did it. And uh, it's really just to give you a bit of a quick idea of how we did it all remotely uh, from each other using technology. Um, and to be honest, um, I I've got my PC here, got my studio, sorry, my audio interface there, plug my guitar in. I've got uh, Guitar Rig 5 on the, the computer, which makes it incredibly um, uh, easy to, to record guitars put them into uh, some kind of format and then email it over to, uh, to Norman who then basically mixes it all. Um, and we've all done that with the vocals, the drums, the keyboards, the guitars, the bass and so on and so forth. However, the interesting parts with all this is, is when, for me personally, recording, uh, which is what I've never done before, um, it's thrown up a few challenges really, you know, all your errors that you can get away with in a pub gig environment sort of stand out and very noticeable so you've got to make sure your playing's right and uh, secondly uh, when you are recording whether it's a vocal track or drums and you're recording a dry sound when you're actually playing that uh, that part of that song or a guitar solo it sounds great in the mix when you're playing along with it and you think wow that sounds really really good when you play it back in isolation with a dry signal it sounds a little bit crap um, and a few times I thought, this doesn't sound good at all, this. So I recorded, did the tracks again, and it still sounded a bit poo. And, uh, and I thought, oh, this must be how it is. Anyway, sent it all over to Norman. He's mixed it all up with the rest of the band. And the rest of the band have said the same thing. It sounds a bit lacking when they've done their bit and they've heard it in isolation. But when it's all come together, that has turned it into a cracking uh, rendition of Florence and Machine or Journey Who's Crying Now. And to be honest, that's one of the things that really threw me, a little bit of a curveball. My guitar played to me, when I played it back in isolation, didn't really sound all that good. But mixed up, as you've probably heard in the track already, it actually sounds pretty good. So here we have it. Um, this is the live guitar solo that I recorded. 
and you'll notice that the mix is really, really good. I'm really into it. But what I'm going to de demonstrate now is actually to let you guys hear the raw recorded sound of my guitar in isolation. It's naked. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous about this. But I want you to have a listen and just see how it compares to that when, when you hear it in the mix. So here we go. So there you have it, one uh, audio recording completed and uh, when we had all pulled our recordings together and Norman's done a great job of doing the mix, um, Norman sent me through the master copy which was the full mix of the band working together, uh, it was an mp3 file, nothing special, nothing fancy, that came through and then everybody else in the band started sending me their individual videos as well and I used a software package called Filmora Wondershare 9 and I was able to do the multi-screen shots that you've just seen at the end of the video there. But listen, if you want to see the full thing, check it out. It's on my channel. It's, uh, it's going to be published, well, by the time you've watched this, it will be out there for you to view, but it's going to be premiered in my time tomorrow night, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so there you go. Hope you really enjoyed it and it was a really interesting experience and uh, yeah, definitely have a go at some recording and try and do a lockdown video with, with your bandmates and we, we've got other projects coming up in the future so keep in tune um, with your guitar, <laughs> it always helps but keep tuned in and uh, we'll have some more stuff coming up very soon.